blessings to all. Welcome to another episode from All for Synchronicity. In this episode, we're going to look at some snippets of our world and what's happening from 2019. We're even going to hear Prince Harry's voice from his telephone call earlier this year and have an insight to why he's running away from his own family, let alone his own country. It's not, a, it's not an easy time and the world is in a troubled place and well, unfortunately the world is being led by some very sick people. You've just heard a snippet from a prince of a royal family and this gentleman says that the world's being led by wicked. Do you think he's one of them? Is he running from the wicked? Why did he depart from his own family? Is it the puppet? Is no longer allowed or wishes to be puppeteered? Is it the puppeteers are saying things that the puppet doesn't want to comply? How often do we need to see the same thing happen century after century before people waken up and see the truth? In 2012, the government configured their laws so that they were once again allowed to provide propaganda to its own public. How amazing is that? And we are living in the age where propaganda is created left, right and centre by all. Are you awake yet? In a world being led by sick people, what would you expect to see? Would you expect to see truth? being told from some outlet which is edited by the wicked at the top? Would you expect to see people roaming the streets and protesting? If the world was run by wicked people, do you think they would make deep underground bases and places to hide themselves should trouble arise for these wicked? Or do you think they would make an open house and invite everyone to come and see them? Do you think they would offer a vaccination which could actually heal you? Or do you think they would create something that would harm you? What would you expect from those that are wicked or those that are kind? Do you have eyes to see and ears to hear? Or are you blinded by the propaganda that comes forth in your life daily. Psalms 101 I will sing of mercy and justice. To you, O Lord, I will sing praise. I will behave wisely in a perfect way. Oh, when will you come to me? I will walk within my house with a perfect heart. I will set nothing wicked before my eyes. I hate the work of those who fall away. It shall not cling to me. A perverse heart shall depart from me. I will not know wickedness. Whoever secretly slander his neighbour, him I will destroy. The one who has a haunty look and a proud heart, him I will not endure. My eyes shall be on the faithful of the land, that they may dwell with me. He who walks in a perfect way, he shall serve me. He who works deceitly shall not dwell within my house. He who tells lies shall not continue in my presence. Early I will destroy all the wicked of the land, that I may cut off all the evildoers from the city of the Lord. Why on earth would these people create dumbs? Why would they invest in vast underground stations where they're away from society why would they make plans to run off to places if something goes wrong it should raise the key question that are they planning on something going wrong are they engineering something to go wrong why wouldn't they prepare for something on ground which is useful to more people instead of making something underground which is useful to themselves only these are the key questions which you should ask about the deep underground military bases or these dumb people's bases. How much in history have we seen 
chemical warfare. How, how far back do you, as a person of a society, a citizen, know of chemical warfare? Are you aware that it goes back hundreds of years? Do you think that because one government said, oh, let's not do it, that everybody else complied? Are you aware that even though someone says they're not going to do something, they continue to do something? Or do you believe that when they say they're not going to do something, they stop doing something? How much belief do we want to believe in these people that say things but do something else? I mean, this is doing the opposite of what you say, right? And that's what you're finding in this society. Going back further than 2012, I mean, you could go back 70 years and just look at society doing the opposite of what they've told. You just look at the Rothschilds as an example. They've changed their name. They, 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 they even have a whole island and, and yet no one even knows. You know, you, you, you sit and you look at these uh, Windsors and you think that they are the, the Windsors, but really they are the Rothschilds. Just look at the emblems. I mean, you're, you're, you're looking at a society which is giving you false information while doing something else. I mean, how awake are you? Are you, are you, are you sleeping? Have you been sleeping your whole life? Are you awake? In a world with a broken society, do you think helping big supermarkets, big corporations is helping the wider population? Or do you think it's just following what the so-called world leaders wish to achieve? Do you think emptying the shops that are attached to this monopoly system are benefiting population or benefiting the corporation which has been suffering for so long. Don't you think it's about time we start living the change we all want to see? Don't you think it's about time we start seeing the world change for righteousness, kindness, justice for all, rather than for the few rich? Best example here is the wealth of the UK. It's maintained by three individuals. They own 97% of the UK. Versus the rest of the population, they own a mere 3% due to its monopoly management. Is this fair? Are you awake yet? Love, blessings to all. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you for tuning in. Have a wonderful day.